previously on 100 Days Inside of an Ant Farm. Ooh, a chicken! I'm gonna name you Jerry. Jerry the chicken. Yeah, me and you, Jerry. Best friends forever. Best friends forever. You killed Jerry. You killed Jerry. Hashtag Jerry. Kinda sus. When Jerry disappeared, you had chicken in the furnace. Is it just me? You or did killed I think you I Jerry. Saw you killed Jerry. You, you killed Jerry. Did you kill you Jerry? Jerry? You cook Jerry. You were Jerry. 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 Jerry, no! I'm gonna name him Jerry. Next day, he cooks chicken that wasn't in their inventory the day before. Ah, Jerry. I'll miss him, you know. R.I.P. Jerry the Chicken. A friend, an awesome dude, a chicken. <laughs> I cried. Guys, if you hit the subscribe button right now, I'm sure Jerry would appreciate that. Thank you. Ah, so we've arrived back in the ant farm. Now, the goal of this video is to beat the ant farm by actually escaping, getting out of the ant farm, and getting past the door by blowing it up completely and escaping the room. So make sure to watch to the end of the video to see what happens. Hope you guys enjoy. And before we start this video, I should mention that this place has changed quite a bit since the last video because I've done some off-camera mining. Throughout this video, you will see how much progress I've made off camera, and that is why we're starting on day 30. I started off by doing a medium amount of farming on this new farm. I've covered the area in oak planks to make it look a little bit more nicer. So I found these two cows, Moo and Moo 2. <laughs> so I got Moo and Moo 2 to follow me. I quickly made this path so it was easier for me. So I had Moo and Moo 2, but then I realized I had no pen to keep them in. So I had to quickly make a pen. For the time being, I had to keep Moo 1 and Moo 2 inside of a pit. I didn't want to. I felt... Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. And this is when I actually created the pen. I put down the fences so Moo and Moo 2 couldn't escape. Carry on the medium amount of tree farming. I went on a bit of an adventure and I found a spawner. And then the creeper blew up the spawners. I didn't really need to do much. I wanted to make the wooden path on the right side of the ant farm go all the way across and all the way back. So I had one long path from one side of the farm to the other. And I spent a lot of the days making everything look a lot more cleaner. So like placing oak planks, oak stays, just making everything look nice and clean. And then it was time to start on the next room, the room below the farm. And when I went back to the house, I had to add some finishing touches, like the roof and other small details. And then I had the great idea to start expanding the farm, because I was going to need more bread and wheat for, for Moo and Moo too. And it was time for me to kill one of the cows because I needed food. But I made sure it wasn't Moo or Moo too. Th those, they needed to stay alive. Time to go on a bit of an adventure now, a Rennie Drag adventure. No Jerry. R.I.P. Jerry. You will be missed. I had to make sure to stock up on iron, because you can never have too much iron. Fun fact, the more you know. And if I wanted windows for my house, I would need sand. Even though I was on one heart and a half, I went out anyway to gather glass for my house. After still adventuring, I found this spider spawner inside of the wall. The reason why I broke it is because it was very dangerous and I knew I could die from it. And also this free cake, and I'll take the cake. I don't want to die while eating cake. Yum, cake. This is when I actually finished Jerry's grave. R.I.P. Jerry. At this point, I was running very low on food supplies because I didn't have a lot of wheat. And at the moment, I didn't have a lot of cows either. So to solve this problem, I used bone meal to, to grow faster. Yeah. So the plan was to have a room below the farm which had the enchanting table in. And in this version of Minecraft, you didn't need bookshelves for the enchanting table. So it would be a lot easier to have this room. Finally, now I could have windows for my house. I went off adventuring again this time to find lava so I could get obsidian for a nether portal. While looking for ages, I actually ran into diamonds. Let's go. We found more diamonds. Woo. Yeah. Celebration time. I love diamonds. And while mining right next to these diamonds, there was lava. Perfect. I went up to get a bucket of water. I placed the water over the lava to get obsidian. And now I was on my way to getting the nether portal. It took me a while to mine all the obsidian, but eventually, after a while, I got all the obsidian I needed 
to stop building the portal. Nice! I quickly went home to grab flint and steel, crafted it, I went down and lighted the portal. I finally arrived in the nether, and then I realized the nether was also inside of an ant farm, which was very, very cool. The main goal right now was to go explore the nether, see what was up, see what was in store for me. And while exploring, there was a lot of dangerous lava pools that was al almost killed me. I almost died a good few times. And not to mention the dangerous piglins, but... I gotta say, I did miss these guys, you know, I haven't played on this version of Minecraft in ages, and seeing these guys again, it was cool. Let's quickly pay respects with these mobs, no longer in the game, rip. After being really clumsy in the nether and almost dying, I had to remove the spawner, because if I accidentally hit one of them, I would be dead. While exploring, I did realise there was more spawners that I had to look out for. I spent quite a few days in the nether making one long path from the nether portal and cleaning out the spawn. And in the process of doing this, I made them mad. Very mad. After making them extremely mad, I didn't fancy going back to the nether. So I went back to the overworld and went back to farming. The one thing I was actually good at. Genuinely, this entire time, all these days, I hadn't made a single piece of armor. So I made sure I did that straight away. I needed armor. With my new cool and swag armor, I now have the power to kill skeletons. Now then, time to add sheep to the pen. Time to introduce these sheep to Moo and Moo 2. Classic Renny drag with his sheep. Oh, he's, what's he doing? As much as I didn't want to, these sheep were being awkward and they wouldn't go in the pen. So I had to hit them in. Oops. Now it was time for the enchanting table room. I had to make the enchanting table and start building the room. I think it's time for a montage of the enchanting table room. Enchanting room table montage? Yeah, yeah. Enchanting room table montage. Yeah. <laughs> That was it, adding the final touches, I had finally finished the downstairs room, and it looked great. I gave the enchanting table a whirl, and it gave me knockback one. The best enchant in the game, heck yeah gamers, in knockback one, I'm, I'm too OP. I added the finished touches to my house, like the balcony, the door, and then it was time to break out of the ant farm. Hello? Is this what freedom feels like? Outside on top of the ant farm. I've never felt so high in my entire life. This is this is pretty cool That's where I wanted to go that bed right over there. That was my goal getting over there Going down the bed and eventually reaching the door But for this plan to succeed I would need to get a lot of blocks a lot of slabs to build over and a water bucket So I hopped down MLG water bucketed grabbed a lot of blocks grabbed a lot of slabs and I was on my way this was it. I was finally on my way to the outside world. And then I look back at the progress I made over the 100 days in the ant farm. It was, just, it was just a nice moment, you know. But I had to leave her all behind. I had to go. I was gonna do this for Jerry. The decline down to the bed was very, very steep, but I eventually made it onto the bed. On this bed was a mysterious sign with a link. I was very confused at this point. I thought there would be something else, like a command block to teleport me somewhere, but it was just a YouTube video. I watched the video, and it told me there was a button to blow up the door. That was my new goal. I'd done it. I'd finally reached the bottom. I had escaped the ant farm completely. Only problem is, there was a massive horde of mobs after me. I had to fight baby zombies, skeletons, and much, much more. It was a challenge. I'd finally made it. This was it. This was the moment. The button was right here, and I pressed it. I had finally done it. I was free from the ant farm. <laughs> Round of applause. So that was it. That was the end of this ant farm journey. Guys, if you have any other suggestions for 100 day challenges, please let me know in the comments because I will look through every single one of them and I will listen to you guys. If you guys want to see a certain 100 day video, I will do it. I will make it happen. Because we're on the YouTube grind now, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Like, Guys, get the bell on as well. You can't forget the bell. And genuinely, thank you so much for the support on the last videos over the past weeks. It has been insane. Nothing that I've seen before. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, please hit subscribe button. It would help me out so much. Without further ado, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.